Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mike Walker and for those of you that are new to the channel I normally talk about my cameras, video editing, that type of thing. Uh, predominantly the Panasonic GH5 is my main camera. Just bought a new lens for it, the 10 to 25mm Panasonic f1.7 lens which is filming me right now at about 12mm um, at f1.7 and it looks very good, I like it, um, I'm, there's more about that later. But today I'm talking about the new Zoom Lifetrack L8 which is a podcast to live streamer, PA for small groups, a live performance mixer and multi-track recorder and also it's a USB audio interface with 12 inputs and 4 outputs. The main features of the L8 are, it's an 8 channel digital mixer and multi-track recorder. It's also got sound pads, 6 in total, um, for adding jingles and sound effects when podcasting. These also work when playing back when you're mixing and when you're recording. It's also got a smartphone connection jack, it's a lead supplied in the box when you buy the unit. And uh, this enables you to connect your iPhone to the desk and it's ideal for podcasting for calling guests and a mix minus function is provided to prevent calling guests from having echoes. The L8 automatically eliminates any latency, delay or feedback from the phone's input so the caller can hear all the other participants of the podcast without any problems. The L8 has high quality mic preamps built in for six channels. It also has 48 volt phantom power and in addition to this, channels one and two support high impedance input this is ideal for a small band, say a four piece band with guitar, bass, drums and keyboards. Um, you've got uh, channels one and two available for the guitar, so you've got your lead guitar in one, your bass guitar in two, and you've got the lead vocal on three, and then you've got four, five and six left for, uh, for drums. So you could put a bass drum mic in there, a snare drum mic and possibly an overhead mic. There's also two line inputs on seven and eight, so they're both in stereo, the keyboard player could use seven. And then you've got a spare one on eight, could be a backing track or something else. In addition to the master out, the L8 also has three monitor output channels that can be connected to headphones. The monitor out mixes can be set separately and that makes it possible to send different mixes to uh, individual performers. And that also eliminates the need to buy a headphone distribution amplifier, which is normally the case when you buy a desk. The L8 supports AA and mobile batteries, allowing it to be used outdoors and in other situations where there's no power. It can be used as a 12-in, 4-out USB audio interface. The signals from each input and the master fader output can be recorded in a door. And also, background music can be played from the computer when podcasting by assigning the computer signal to channel 7 or 8. From a video producer, filmmaker's point of view, um, I think this live track L8 from Zoom would solve most, if not all, of your audio requirements. Filming a music group or podcast in the remotest place, like in the middle of a field or an old disused warehouse or whatever, um, it would be possible on the L8 because it runs on four AA batteries uh, for one source, or it'll run off a power bank. These power banks you can buy now that are USB. Um, depending on what the size it is, you're going to get considerably more than two hours on, on one of these. Probably up to, I don't know, eight, ten, twelve hours. Um, which is really, really useful. Uh, obviously you can run it off a USB off your laptop as well. Um, but using the power bank, you're going to be able to power it all day. In the edit, audio post-production, such as sound effects, music production, uh, voiceovers, uh, using the unit as an audio interface, uh, would also be easier to manage as more inputs are available. You've got all these inputs here and you can leave your favourite sound sources plugged into it. You don't have to keep unplugging them all the time. You can memorise the scene settings on here and at a push a button, push of a button you can recall um, that particular setup. And everything can be backed up on the SD card which is in, in the back of the unit and that's removable or you can use the uh, card reading facility which it's got on this uh, as well through the menus you can use it as a card reader and it will it will do it that way. I'm using the unit right now um, with my Sennheiser 416 shotgun mic, it's just out of shot there at the top of the screen and um, it's connected to channel 3 and 
I can fade in some reverb if I like there. I've got eight uh, different effects there which you can slide in using the effects return slider. And this, uh, this hall reverb, there's a hall reverb there, room reverb, a plate reverb, um, there's a delay, uh, there's a chorus, and there's two vocal reverbs there. So we'll turn that off for now, but um, they're all available at the touch of a slide, and that's a nice thing to be able to do uh, directly from, from the mixer. There's six sound pads available. The six sound pads in practice, you just push a button, and you've got the sound, and you can fade and fade it out live uh, while you're monitoring it. Uh, and you can just program these things in and just trigger them as and when you need to do it. Ideal for a podcaster or a DJ. Zoom products, in my uh, experience, have, uh, have always been good quality and really good value for money. Um, I've already got two of their products and I'll probably be keeping the... Uh, F1 because I use that a lot when I'm out and about on my own. Um, the H5, uh, which I've had for a couple of years, I'll probably be selling this on now because um, it's a great unit and it's really robust, really well made. Um, but I don't think I'll be using this now because uh, the L8 gives me so much more. It's multi-track and the fact that you can overdub if something goes wrong on location and nobody notices until you get back to the studio for the edit. You can still go in and alter one of the tracks, so if the vocalist has made a mistake or got the wrong lyrics or something or something they don't like or it's out of tune or whatever, they can go back in and just replace that little bit. So that saves you going out and having to reshoot the whole thing. But there we are, it looks like this little desk has got just about everything covered. It's very small but um, it's very big in performance. Well, that's it. Thanks for staying with us. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. And my next episode will be about this lens that's filming me now, which is a Panasonic Leica 10 to 25 mm f 1.7 lens. Please subscribe if you want to see more like this, and I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.